Hey there! Sometimes it happens that you have to flip your ESC. Probably it's because of an accident, because you messed it up, but probably it's also as you want to switch it to another way to fit it better in your frame or something like that. In this case, you have to remap your motors. Today I want to show you how you can easily remap your motors. And it sounds difficult, but to be honest, it's just a short procedure and not difficult at all. But enough of talking. Let's go! So first of all, you open up Betaflight or your flight controller software and you open up Excel or something where you can take notes. You can also take notes on a paper, but I do it with Excel. Then you have to connect your computer to Betaflight and we want to go in the Motors tab. In the Motors tab, we plug in a battery. Please always make sure to take your props off. I understand the risks and then we will have a look. So we expect that motor one is spinning. So as you can see above here, the bottom right uh, motor, but in our case, the front left motor is spinning. So we write down motor four will be our motor one and vice versa. Then we see Motor 2. Motor 2 is um, the front right motor, but right now it's the bottom left motor. So we say motor 3 here. And then we have motor 3, which is currently motor 2. So you see it should be the bottom left, but it is the front right. And there can only be one left, so motor one. We can spin it and then we see this motor twitching. And our motor one will be in the future motor. Our motor four right now will be in the future motor one. So we write one here. After that, we can disconnect the LiPo for now. Go into the CLI. And then we type resource. And at the top here you can see resource motor 1234. Paste it here. As it is white text, we color it <laughs> in, in black. And then we see, okay, motor one. We want our motor one to be motor four. So we search for the pin out for motor four and we type A03 and say, okay, enter. After that, we want our motor two to be the pin out of motor three. So we paste this one here get BOO so the pin out for motor 3 and say OK and enter. Then we want to remap motor 3 which is the value of motor 2 so BO1 and last not least we want motor 4 to have the pin out of motor 1 and we say A02. After that is done, we hit save. And we go to the motors tab again to see if everything's working. So our motor 1, the bottom right should spin and it does. The front right should spin and it does. The third one, so bottom left should spin and it does. And same for the front left. Yes, and it spins. So that's it. And as always, 
If you didn't like the video, don't tell anybody how you spent the last minutes. But if I helped you, I'm happy if you leave a like and subscribe and stay tuned for upcoming videos. I'm posting at least one video a week to get more beginners into this great hobby. So stay tuned and see you next time. But to be honest, it's... But to be honest, it's... But to be honest, it's just a short... It. <laughs> Remapping is easier than speaking to the camera. But to be honest, it's just a short procedure.